one of the fighters he looked up to in Jose Luis Castillo. It must be a surreal moment for him. So here you go, round one of ten. And although Castillo did have the big victory in the rematch with Corrales, when he came in, of course, overweight, but uh, nonetheless, they let the fight go, and and uh, he had a, a terrific win that night and looked uh, very good. Really, you have to think, if you factor in the, the succeeding fights after that, that the unbelievable war with Corrales had to have taken something out of it. Definitely, just like I feel, the, now granted, aside from the plaster issues and what have you with Margarito, um, when he fought uh, uh, Cotto, that was, he still took a lot of punishment, and I thought it was a dangerous fight when he fought Shane Mosley. It was a little, a little, a bit much coming off of the battle he had. So even though you are the victor, it doesn't necessarily mean you're not still suffering a lot of the same consequences. Absolutely. That's what, really what this fight is all about for Castillo. It's, I think it's much more than just the America's intercontinental belt. I don't think that's really an issue at all, to be honest. I just think it's all about what's left and what's Gomez all about. Where's he at? I don't even know why they attach some kind of belt like that to fighters like this. It's not like some kid coming up the ladder who needs to win his first belt somewhere along right. the way and is going to be really thrilled and scintillated by winning a minor belt. I'm trying to make out what Gomez has on his back. Yeah, it's it's a sponsor of some sort. Okay, I just didn't, didn't seem I didn't seem to be a tattoo guy. <laughs> no. Castillo's nickname, by the way, and a lot of people uh, misunderstand it. They think it's El Terrible. It's not. That's Eric Morales' uh, nickname, but yes. it is Temible with an M, which loosely translated, I guess the best translation is probably like an intimidator right. type. Well, he's been that. First round, really kind of a feeling out round here so far. Yeah, a lot of respect from uh, Gomez. This is sort of Castillo's style, regardless of his opposition. That right hand landed on the hip of Castillo. Latin fighters have some great nicknames since we were talking about nicknames. Roberto Duran, my all-time favorite. Manos de Piedra. Yes. Of course, hands of stone. Double left hand and a good right hand by Gomez. Hey! Round number two. Pretty close first round. I thought Gomez might have stolen it at the end. I agree with you, Barry. Let's see if he can step it up and, and have a little more offensive attack. You know, he, I, I think the once the, the jitters were out a little bit for Gomez, he's done a pretty good job of relishing the big stage and the opportunities he's had. I think so. This this would go in that category of big win or notable win for him. Definitely. Should get this. Big name win for sure. Yeah. Showing a pretty crisp jab. And he does double up on it. A busier fighter. We haven't so far because uh, he's been kept pretty busy uh, blocking shots from Gomez. We haven't seen that great body attack of Castillo yet. I'm sure he wouldn't mind an inside fight. When he fought Corrales, they were shoulder to shoulder for 10 rounds. Dug a nice right hand in there, did Gomez. Being one who likes to fight on the inside, it was, oh, it was, in my book too, definitely. The best fights of all time. Stop, stop. Gomez a little bit more on the gas here in the second round. Castillo's still very quiet, not doing a lot. And it really hurt, you know, Castillo, when he was suspended all that time for his weight situation, kept him out of the ring, and he needed money. Right. And that's why he's fighting tonight is the real answer. And then Ricky Hatton really took him out very easily.
Gomez not taking advantage of the opportunity to want to trade on the inside, realizing that's Castillo's forte. Stop, stop! Uh, uh, let him up, let him up. Hurry. He himself places a good body shot, though, Alfonso Gomez. Keep in mind, as I mentioned before, Castillo, though, is a slow starter. But, of course, stop, in his earlier stop, years, he was able to get started. And that's yes. the question tonight. Will he be able to get started? And there's only 10 rounds tonight as opposed to 12. Yep. Gomez is doing a pretty good job of crowding Castillo and not letting Castillo be at long range. A lot of guys had leads on uh, Castillo after four or five rounds, and they uh, would out, see those out, leads disappear. On, out, like Julio Diaz and like Joel Casamayor. And for those who thought that he beat Floyd Mayweather the first time, and there were many who uh, think that up, he baby. did, bring him up. you know, that was the same situation. Mm -hmm. Well, Gomez.